Ooh. We are at the public spawner, sir. That's how the inside of lots of people look. Hey. Right. Mm. Actually, I don't think I've taken people down here yet. This is the uh, the public zombie spawner. Yes. Or Murtai's second home, as it's otherwise known. <laughs> yes. And, yes, um, it is. Uh, hello, Murtai. And, uh... So, and I, I, I think actually you've done a nice job of this area, to be totally honest. It looks really nice. The obsidian and the uh, the diorite looks wood. I think in so. here needs to be altered. And why is there an odd obsidian block there? Who's been altering my design? <laughs> I did the floor. I'm proud of the floor. I think there might have been something on that at one point, but uh, no. Yeah, as I said, this is Murtai's yeah. second home. The yeah. idea is stand where Murtai is, go AFK for half an hour, come back. And use a splash potion of healing. Splash healing potions hurt zombies. And mm. boom, instant XP. Uh, yep, it's a it's a great way of making a. Uh, it's I've just never been in there. Sorry, it's a great way of making a um, a, a silk touch pick as I did yesterday morning. Yes. Uh, before you dis before you carry on, thanks for watching, Chris. Bye, mate. Oh, sorry. Take care, Chris. See you soon. Continuing up, there's a lot of zombies around here randomly. Mm. Oh, I think I found out what the extra bit of where the um, the diorite disappeared to. <laughs> this is new. The whole frame here. Yes. Oh, actually, yes, it is, isn't it? Yes. These warning signs here, mm -hmm. spawn a bit with obsidian. It's a warning for anybody that may be digging around here mm. to not dig up the obsidian just in case they hit the spawner. Yeah. Don't hurt my friend. Tends not to be a good idea. Oh, and here comes the party. Where are they coming from? I don't know. I think I'll follow this for a sec just to see. Yeah, I'm coming with that. Yeah. Not being anyone exploring. Oh. Oh no, we found this. Mi you found this mine shaft at the start, didn't you? Yes, this is yeah. Mike's. Um, yeah. How do I word this politely? This is Mike's dirt penis. <laughs> ah. Actually, there seems to be quite a lot of dirt penises made in this game. So uh, why not? Because. That that. Is what that is why not right there is the great reason why not. <laughs> hey, sh shall we uh, get out of here? Let's get out of here. Up to the surface, lad. Uh, Which way is it? Did we come? To, did we go this way? I don't remember now. I think it was down here. Where are you? Ah, I found it. Oh, well done. Come to the name tag. Pretend it's UHC. Come to me. <coughs> <coughs> oh. Excuse me. Um, I'm a bit further up the stairs than you. Oh, you went upstairs already? Yeah. You git. Uh, no, I, I, I came, I joined these the stairs a bit further up. Oh god, here we go. Mm. Hey. I, I haven't seen Mike on this server since uh, we first started up. Oh yeah. Likewise. I, I, I think he, he didn't like you casting aspersions as his dirt willy. Uh. <laughs> Right, so, um, I don't know who did these, but I think I like these trees. Ah, oh, Mike mm. messed with the, the thing. Okay, thanks, Mike. You get <laughs> for nothing, rabble, you. The trees, yeah, that was um, a random thing I found on Minecraft forums one day. Just you know, a bit of wood for the bot, for a little thin yeah. twig, as it were, a, a thin tree maybe. Mm. Looks quite good. It's not, a, it's not very good as a hidden lighting because you can see the torch, but. No. It's a lot. It's a lot better than burp, 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 which is yeah. what we had before. Yeah, which is driving up the wall. I mean, uh, uh, when I when I do these, the, the uh, jack o' lanterns, I put them one further down so they're harder to see. Yeah, it's uh, a suggestion that uh, Watson's made to me. Yeah, they just give. Uh, to... Yeah, they give the same lighting as well if you put them one further down. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm uh. I'm tempted to do that. Hello, Mike. Those Doctor We've... Who glasses he's got on there, isn't it? Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> We've made a slight alteration to our house. Oh, have you? All right. Yes, Murtai made stables. I think we've now got the largest build on the server. I, I, well, at the moment, I think you probably have, yes. It, it feels slightly hypocritical, because I've had a moan at 40 for building something ridiculously big, smack bang in the middle of spawn. Mm. So in that sense, I don't feel too bad, because this <laughs> is our own little private island, yeah. essentially. I think Mr. We... Bubbles is probably going to beat you in the long run, but uh, yeah. Oh, that castle is going to be fantastic when it's yes. done. Yes, he's doing a great yes. job on it, isn't he? 
Ah, stables. Yes, complete with horses. I don't think Murtai has seen them yet. Well, she has now. Yes, Murtai, you got horses. I don't know where they came from, but you got horses. I may or may not have gone trekking for them last night when you were in bed. That's may not, may or may not. May or may not. Some, perhaps they, they just came here all on their own, drawn by the scent of apples. That's a possibility. It is always a possibility. Mm. No, that, that's Locke's place there. I don't think he's done much to it recently. No. Um, I, I showed people around here the other day. It's a, a very interesting farming system he's got there. And it's all right, isn't it? A rather bow-loosening hole underneath the place. Oh, mind your back. Oh, oh good shot. One. Good shot. And he gave you some follows it up by missing. Wow. First one that counts. Yeah, um, have you seen squirrels underwater walkway? I have not yet. No, I've been meaning to. And I, I've got to follow be me. Follow just me. Want, just want to show people this because this is actually, you know, that's quite terrifying, really. I is this yeah, the hole? The hole, yes. Uh, and um, that and last time, the first time I looked at that hole, I think I was sneaking out of the building. I was still sneaking at this point. Uh, I think I possibly stopped sneaking at about here, and I was still worried about it. Uh, yeah, Murtai, we have horses, darling. Uh, all right, where's this underwater pass? Oh, I can see where the underwater passage is. I think we need to mark it up a bit more. This is created by yes. the marvelous skeptical squirrel. Yes, and the, I saw that. Uh, good job on this. Yes, Lady Murtai, yeah. I got the horses last night when you're in bed. Yeah, I can see the water. Murtai can sleep for England. <laughs> uh, it's a good skill to have if you got it. I got to be honest with you. And so yeah, this is this is looking really nice, isn't it? I would personally change this glass, the panes for maybe a different colour, or maybe even blocks. What? Or maybe, yeah. or maybe just line this bottom bit here. See the sand and the yeah. dirt. I, I might change it for. I would mm -hmm. change it maybe for blue wool or lapis. If but... it was, if it was me, okay. And yeah, I can see what you mean about the 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 bottom here. That'd probably be a great replacement. But I would just light up the ground and, and behind this. You know what the biggest in item of interest is for me? What's that? The sea lantern. <laughs> Someone's been to a temple. Yes, yes. Uh, it was squirrel, I think. Yes. Mm. You coming with us, Mike? I, I say in a delayed fashion, because I said that. We're going to run off. And he's going to be <laughs> stood there for 30 seconds. <laughs> oh. Right, we're... Eh? What's this? Oh, okay. Somebody's been bored. Um, I don't think this will actually get you the achievement in... Uh, vanilla. That is probably squirrels because it's right next to his house. Yes. He's got a donk. He's got donkeys. Pedro and I can't see the other one if that he's got a name. Actually, looks like a mule. Yeah, I think that's a mule. And uh, as as just in case anyone doesn't know, you can breed a mule by breeding a donkey and a horse together. Yes. Uh, mules have the same sort of jumping ability as a donkey, i.e. not very good. What's that up there? But oh, uh, they have a huge number of hit points. It's a ridiculous number of hit points. So what else do we have up here? Oh yes, there's Squizzy's house with... Uh, actually, I forgot to show this the first time I was around. He pointed out I didn't bother looking upstairs. The man's got his own... He with is a, obsessed yeah. with seat with um, rooftop swimming pools. Yes, and he's got his own gullen as well, which is excellent. Had. I'm going to kill it. <laughs> well, I thought I was like, oh, look away before my chat gets offended. I'm not that mean, guys. Yet. Now, this place I really, really like, which is, uh, I think it's Whip's Killing kill Grill. Yes, that's Whip Stitch's uh, place. Okay. Um, we were... We were Mere time myself was so upset when we saw this place because we're like, yeah, we've got a plan. We've spent about two or three hours on creative, modifying the design. Oh, Whip's going to use purple ruddy clay. What a cow. <laughs> what a cow. Damn you, Whip. Uh, I've got to be honest, what I like the most about this is the floor. I, I, this, this combination Ooh. of bricks and polished slabs is really good. That's subtle. I like that. Yes. Yeah, it's fantastic. I like that a lot. And I, I, I think Whipstitch is an excellent builder. I... Let's have a look at Whip's stables. Always frustrating when it happens. 
Ooh. Ooh. Hello. Sorry, sir. Slow burning chicken farm. Yes. Um, yes, reminds me. I need to. I promised uh, whip and auto. Oh, good lord. I've promised whip and automated chicken farm. Does anyone have a carrot? Because. No. Um, do we actually have a farm near here? We have a farm near here. Because I want to show people something really, really creepy. Okay, okay. I'm intrigued. All right. Uh, this is this is possibly the most scary thing since I put all those chickens in your house and I was walking down those stairs with wave after wave of chickens coming up. So, rabbits hopping around. Yeah. Look Whoa! Now, is that or is that not utterly, utterly scary? What the deuce? Yeah. That's... Right, moving swiftly on. <laughs> did, I, did I show you our automatic cactus farm? Uh, no, please do show me your automatic cactus farm. It's a secret nobody is to know. Well, it's okay, we'll kill the chat afterwards. Okay, everybody that's watching the stream at the moment, you're all about to die, Damon style. Yes, just tilt your head to one side and pass me the straw. Yes. While we're taking a walk past, I believe somebody admired Murtai's die, die, die shop. Well, I, I think you did a great job on it. That's a, uh, yes. Well, how me and Murtai tend to work is she comes up with a general idea and the basic structure, and I do mm. tweaks. I've got a knife of detail, I've been told, and... Uh, well, yeah, I, I, I would definitely say that. I do like the corners of this building. I'm not too sure, to be honest with you. Uh, I, think, I think it works quite well. Um... I think it contrasts too much this sticky outy bit and then this bit goes in. I like the never rack that I've done on the bottom yeah. just to give it a bit of contrast there. Yeah. And I like what I've done with the coarse dirt because then it looks like a proper flower bed. Mm, absolutely. But uh, you've got, it right got to be picky of your own your own builds to be totally honest with you. I, I, I quite like this. It's uh, um, it's nice and brash and it's got lots of colour to it which for a dye shop is what exactly what you want I would say. Yeah. No, well, yeah. you know what to say. You, everybody's the very worst critic. Oh, absolutely. Uh, I mean, a lot of people have said nice things about my house on this server, and I, I actually am not particularly happy with it. It will be rebuilt mean, someone soon. Do you mean the uh, hidden lighting above the glass? It's possible, actually, Mike. Yeah. Um, I think that would look great, actually. If you put something above it, yeah, and that would make the glass glow. Mm, but then you lose that purple block there. Well, it's something we could consider. Yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll try it out if it doesn't yes. if it doesn't work. But do you mean your house over that way direction? That, that we one there over there, yes. The one where you interrupted in one of your videos. Yes. Why I say interrupted? I mean walked in, just didn't knock or anything. We have a plan for the Never Portal. I got uh, purchased a book today by Murtai. It's the Minecraft Blockopedia. It's a fantastic book, actually, even for exper experienced Minecrafters. It's like a hexagon in shape. Yes. It's got lots of detail for beginners and it goes into huge amounts of information for experts like ourselves i mean i don't want to go calling myself an expert i'm certainly no beginner yeah but the blockopedia is highly recommended and sainsbury's if you live in the uk sainsbury's have it for 15 pounds at the moment the recommended retail is 30 so it's half price essentially mm. heavily recommended enderman behind you actually let's see how quickly we can make the enderman run away Ah, oh, you dirty bugger! <laughs> it's like a sport, um, playing hockey with an Enderman. Oh my god, that totally needs to be a thing. We need to make an arena, put oh, an Enderman yes. in the middle of it, and then <laughs> twat him uh, with an arrow, just make him go flying towards the goal. Uh, I, was, I was sitting on my server the other day, and um, I, I, my, 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 the, the, the spawn town is mostly surrounded by a river. And I was sitting there building something, and I saw this it's this Enderman walk past, and the Enderman walked into the river, it teleported back, walked back into the river again, teleported back, walked into the river again, teleported back, walked into the river again, teleported back. It's carried on for about five minutes. It was, you know, it, it would walk into the river, it let out this great shriek, it would teleport back onto the land, then walk back into the river. It was absolutely determined to get that block to the other side of the river, it just didn't know how to. Jeez. Yeah. So there was an Enderman, a Creeperman, and a Skeleton Man. And they walked into a bar? <laughs> walked into a river, I think. 
Do I apologize? Excuse me. I'm still <laughs> rough as. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's the same. Uh, the Blockopedia has actually got a really nice build in there that I'd really like to replicate on here. And then add my own little twist. But oh, this oh. is going to be so nice when it's done. It's, at the moment, it's just a portal on the pedal. Yeah. But well, anyway. It, it, it got we us into have... the nether. That's the important thing. Yes. We do have plans for that, though. That's the important thing. Yes. Torts Hospital. We have actually done a bit of work with him in creative for that one. And he has the materials, so he's just lacking the time to actually modify it. But we're talking light blue glass for the windows and a proper entranceway. That I think the hospital needs to come back a block, actually. Yes. Quartz floor. Oh, hello, zombie. Where yeah. did you come from? Yeah, Can quartz we floor. Here? We've started yeah. building for him already. The walls. What are we going to make that out of? I think we're sticking with wool, are we? Yeah, I think we're sticking yeah. with wool. No going to have an... Yeah. Not wanted to be gonna... pedantic, mate, but if you turned uh, did this as quartz slabs, you could have done all of this. Yeah, but it's not too late to dig it all up and do that, yeah. so. Oh, sorry. <laughs> right, you get that door. I'll there we go. Door. There right. we go. <laughs> the sheep uh, farm we've modified. Hmm. It now has every colour in it, including brown. Oh, great. You found the... Oh, you found some brown. Well done. Yes, we got yeah. brown from the jungle. Me and Murtai came, well, we've obviously come back from the jungle because we're here. Yeah. Yes. We bought jungle saplings, we bought cocoa beans. There's a jungle farm now on the go. Cocoa beans can only grow on jungle wood, as most people yes. know. So... Oh, this, is, this, is looking, this is looking really good, if slightly noisy, yeah. On that note, the Neverwalk mm. Farm... Oh, Squirrel's a, a proud customer of that. Mm. Tort's House... The little goth house. I'm going to modify that for him. I'm going to make <laughs> it creeper proof. More <laughs> art. And then put a creeper inside it to test. Oh, that's actually not a bad idea. <laughs> put a name tag on it as well. Squirrel's newest edition. Yeah. Yeah. This, I love this. This is gorgeous. I, I, I made a comment on that the other day when I, 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 I was here. And I think he's done an excellent job on this. And it looks so nice. It's such a nice landmark yes. in the distance as well. Yes, it absolutely. really is. Well, that's that's actually when I first saw it. It was on the tower of my house where I could just see the top of it lit up and it looked really great. What that needs oh. is a beacon underneath it. Oh, yeah, that that will go well. When we kill a wither, that's where we should put the beacon, absolutely. Yes. Um, it's Oh, yes, he's done 3x3 three three in here as well, so that will be perfect. So he can modify it if need yes. be. Yes. Oh, that squirrel. He's thought of everything. Absolutely. Uh, trying to think what else there is to see. There's um, Robin's place over there. He says he's copying it from an external source. Uh, okay. Trivia for you. Robin has never played Minecraft before joining us here. Yeah. And he, 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 he landed here and he started building that. And that is, that is so incredibly ambitious. That's his first uh, ever build. Yes. That's how it... You know, he didn't even build himself a mud hut, okay? Uh, he's, he's just started, he came along here and he started to do that. And that's his first build, and that is incredible. And hats off to him. Oh, yeah. I haven't connected his house to the, the road yet. Uh, I've connected, a... I connected Locke's place to, to the main road. Mm, it's a long way there. Mm. It's so... a very on, a, on a road note, it's a very organic road. It just mm. seems to take its own path. Yes, I've noticed that as well. But that's, that's not necessarily a bad thing. I mean, okay, this, it's worth pointing out, okay, that he actually had to be shown how to make this brick, okay? Um, he had no idea how to turn cobblestone into stone to make bricks. So he, he was that basic learned knowledge, and he's made this, which is incredible. Oh, have you seen the other side of it? Yes, I was looking at it early on. It's looking great, isn't it? Archways! That's yes. fantastic! Oh, I 40, 40, you could learn a thing from this guy. <laughs> Uh, I mean, yeah. And I say that with huge hmm. amounts of generosity because 4040 is an epic castle builder. Oh yes, he loves his castles, doesn't he? It's like his speciality. Yeah. yeah. Give him a server, give him a set amount of time, full long castle. Well, just look at the walls around the uh, the village. Oh yeah. Bubs. Oh yeah, <laughs> thanks Murtai. It's a bit late now, darling. This bit will never make it to YouTube, will it? Hopefully. <laughs> Possibly. What's it worth After to you? <laughs> um, thinking. <laughs> Let's check out DF's place and then. Okay. Oh, it's it's Bob on midnight actually. It, yeah. Uh... Time flies when you're having fun. 
Time yep. flies even more when you're having fun with mod because everybody wants to get rid of mod quicker. The quicker the time flies, the more the quicker we get rid of it. And on that note, um, for a shiny five pound from the chat, I can stop him talking. Um, a, a shiny five pound for the chat. Yeah. Yes. Uh, and this is this is the little building that I made, which is totally dwarfed by everything else now. But I did do it in the first day of the server just to put uh, a roof over people's heads. So. This is the first proper build on the server, I think, and actually, yeah. I'd like to make a slight modification. Trust me, trust me. I know what I'm doing. I'm a mod. I'm a robot, even. Uh, and a vandal, it would appear, yes. No, 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 I I'm taking this, and um, you I'm going to reuse this glass. Oh, of course, you silk touch. You want to put glass panes in, do you? Actually, yes, I just thought... I was walking past a Murtai the other day, and I thought, wouldn't this look better with panes, just to give it a bit of... Three dimensionality, a bit of relief, because otherwise it's just a cube with a triangular roof. Mm, it and would. She, and, she's, and she's like, eh, try it. And then here we are. Yes, let's go for it. This is where Murtai pops up in the chat. Don't fucking blame me, you dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Too late, woman, you're blamed. Uh, mod does mods. I actually, I actually made some glass for this place, but... Uh... I think somebody used it, or I used it on something, and I never got round to doing it, because that was actually part of the plan. No, the glass is gone, so somebody must have used it. It's entirely possible. I swear there's a tea leaf on the server, just helping themselves little bits here and there. Yeah. But what can you do? Well, not that I particularly mind, because, let's be honest here, okay, I made this place for people to use. And the great little community yeah. hut it's been so far. Yeah. But carry uh, on, sir. I just want people to put stuff in here that they uh, um, they don't want and take stuff that they need. It's as simple as that. And we got some you know bits and pieces in here. Yeah, <laughs> like all the wooden shorts I enchanted while making a silk touch the other day. Uh, wow. But yeah, just bits and pieces. And I'm I'm slightly disappointed that whoever broke the anvil didn't replace it. But hey, it doesn't really. We've had matter. that in our, we've had that in our place as well. Uh, that's... But no, actually, I, I do agree. It does look much better like that. Just that's, it just breaks yeah. up the flat monotony yeah. of the surface a little bit. Well, yeah, it's the other same reason. The, yeah, same reason why I did the bit there. at the top there. That I like. I like yeah. that. Maybe that was extended to this one and this one as well, and then mirrored on the other side. That's a possibility. We should play with it later on. But uh, I'm kind yes. of running out of time at this point. So, uh, uh, but feel free, feel free to play if you if you get the urge to do. Okay. Well, let's have a quick look at DS Place, and let's then I'll let you carry on with the rest of your evening. You've only got two hours to go, Simon! I've only got two hours to go. I may survive. Probably not going to be good to have a conversation with tomorrow, but apart from that... Yeah. I was looking at this place the other day, and this is this is pure DF, really, isn't it? I haven't seen this place in the flesh yet, other than this room that we're in right now. Uh, Do you uh, want to go first, Mike? Go on. Go on. It's go done. On. Go on. Go on. Go, 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 go. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll let you go first and get your first impressions because this is this is this is this is real DF. I have heard yeah. that something's happened to the throne room as well. Oh no, I hope not. A good something from what oh, I've been told. Okay, right. I'm, I'm liking this walkway down. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's a chicken. Yeah, well, chicken makes everything better. King's guard. Hey, <laughs> no, really? What the hell? That's. Hey, Mike, this is a bit for you. With you in mind, it's got gold sword and gold boots. Because <laughs> Mike's, uh, Mike's so brilliant at UHC, he uses gold equipment. <laughs> um, yes, because, you know, apples are just wasted. Yeah, it's just a waste of gold. Oh, there's another King's Guard here. Yeah. Uh... Creeper? Where is he? I'm hearing it. I'm not seeing it. He's gone. He must have been drowning. Yeah, actually it sounded like it, didn't it? Yes. Oh, yeah, bear in mind that DF does have his mines underneath here. Oh. <laughs> Gullens everywhere, they say in the chat. Yep. Well, everything's better with Gullens. Everything is better with Gullens. Everything's better with Gullens. Oh. Everything is cool when you got a Gullen. Mm. Everyone's a Gullen. I totally just made up this little song. <laughs> Uh, Simon, uh, you have clearly influenced the server. Well, wherever I go, the gullens follow, it appears. Yeah, I bloody hate chickens, and it's all your fault. 
Well, I don't know. I didn't. I didn't let them out of your house. Well, here we go. Uh, I do yeah. apologise, but I think it's because it's primarily my fault. You've run over on a segment, so I do apologise. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't matter. Okay, well, anyway, I think I'm going to call it now, uh, mostly because Mike's trying to stamp that book to death, uh, but partially because, as you say, I want to move on to something else. Thank you very much for a wonderful competition mod and a good chat and run around the area. Oh, yes, really likewise. It. It's been great. Yeah. Um, um, we shall have to do this periodically, I think. We need an Aberrules competition of some sort, yes. Yeah. Well, well, not so much a league table, but just an ir irregular. Hey, you're going to do Aberrol Sky? Okay, yes. guy, I'll do that with you. Okay, then... guy, where do you want to do this? Mm. Oh, around here, guy, how about that? that? Okay, guy. <laughs> and it does occur to me thinking about it, it's been a while since we did a UHC. Yes, so you're thinking maybe a cross server UHC for the next one then? Oh, or should we just like... get every... Or we can get you warmed up with a more orthodox UHC, so you can just go, hey guys, this is all fresh in my mind, this is how UHC works, because you've had a lot more followers, a lot more uh, subscribers, etc, etc, since the last UHC you joined in with us. Absolutely, so. I did, yes, and, and I do rather, yes, so uh, it'd be great, I think, and uh, well, I will have a chat about it, shall we? And yes, we'll, we'll do that off camera, because you need to... What's next, by the way? Uh, don't starve. I, I don't intend to, what's next? Um, it's uh, mod snacking, which is <gasps> uh, the latest. is an indie game. It's actually really, really good. Well, actually, in terms of indie games, I want to look at take a look at Indie Assault. That takes a lot of indie characters and puts them into a Smash Brothers style game. But that's besides the point. <laughs> thank you very much for today, Simon. This yeah. has been epic, Mike. And thank you, too, sir. And yes, Mike. Thank you very much for yeah. tagging along. <laughs> okay, right. Uh, well, I'm gonna once again. I'm gonna take a break uh, for five minutes, get organised, make myself another cup of coffee, and then we will be playing Don't Starve: Reign of Giants. So I hope to see you all in a bit.